Now let's go back to the initial script and we are going to talk about the special buttons replay ok and oops button the, so ok I'm going to to create the three of them at the same time and then going to explain it how it works so this is these are the x coordinates 0, 4, 0, 5 you can put them wherever you, you like on the screen. Zero seven. Then I'm going to put them zero one, zero two. I'm going to keep them. So they're gonna be one next to the other. So these are the coordinates. Then this is a text uh, you like to appear um, within the button. So I will say like replay, OK, and oops, you can say whatever you like uh, in him, in it, and there you go. OK, and I'm going to open. And of course, for the replay button, uh, you need to explain to indicate the maximum number of replays. Replay, so I'm going to say three. Why not? and then open run so so okay we're going to change the blank while playing this way you can see the answers all the time run okay so I'm going to uh, delete the category goodness. This way you have more space. You can see that uh, changing the script and opening up again, the file is very, very fast. There you go. Again, I made a mistake here. Yes, there is no mistake. So. We've got the buttons, but they're not going to appear because they are context bound. So click to start. E. So I heard an E. If I want, I'm going to replay it. E. Again, why not? E. Once again. E. This is the maximum number of replications, three. So the button disappears. I'm going to give my answer. Then I can say OK when I'm ready. So I had an ooh, I can replay as many times as I like. If I press oops, it means that it will go back to the preceding um, stimulus, stimulus. So this is the current stimulus is number two, is going to go back to one, is going to erase um, the answer I just gave. And I'm going to hear it again, the number one. So again, replay. You can replay as many times as you like, uh, as long as you indicate here, number of replays. Then, um, when you give an answer, you can say OK when you're ready. And then, oops, means you go back to the preceding um, stimulus and you can uh, replay it again if the option is available and you can uh, give a new answer because sometimes especially with discrimination um, tests very often um, mostly when you tell listeners that they have to um, press quickly the buttons same different same different because you're interested in response times um, they can make a mistake quite often, so the oops button sometimes it helps, uh, sometimes is necessary. And the last thing, instead of um, using buttons, or in addition to buttons, what you can use is shortcuts. So as I said already, for the answers you can use shortcuts, so subjects can use 
the keyboard instead of the mouse to give the answer. Same thing here, they can um, use, for example, you say, um, where is it? For replay, they can use the R, um, for the OK, the O, for the oops, I don't know, the OK is going to be the space and oops is going to be the O, or it depends on what you want. So you can use you can use any key uh, you like. So uh, this is all you need to know about special buttons.